The orbital piloted assembly and experiment complex is a proposed third-generation modular space station in low Earth orbit. OPSEC would initially consist of modules from the Russian orbital segment of the International Space Station. The proposal would use OPSEC to assemble components of manned interplanetary spacecraft destined for Mars, the Moon, and possibly Saturn. The returning crew would also recover on the station before landing on Earth. This Russian space station could form part of a deep space network, supporting manned exploration of the solar system. Before the predicted decommissioning of the International Space Station, in the 2020s, the Russian Federal Space Agency plans to detach some of its modules, such as the Multipurpose Laboratory module, and use them as the basis for a new space station. On the 17th of June, 2009, Roscosmos officially informed its partner, the United States, about its intention to build and prepare for operation the first elements of the orbital assembly and experimental piloted space complex by the end of the S life cycle. According to the Russian manned space flight contractor RKK Energia, the new station must be able to perform the following tasks. OPSEC will follow the Salyut and Amaz series, Cosmos 557, and Mir, as the 12th Russian space station launched, OPSEC is a third-generation modular space station. Other examples of modular station projects include the Soviet-slash-Russian Mir, the International Space Station, Tiangong-3, and the Chinese Space Station, the first space station, Salyut-1 and other One Piece or monolithic first-generation space stations such as Salyut 2, 3, 4, 5, DOS 2, Cosmos 557, AMAZ, and NASA's Skylab station were not designed for resupply. Generally, each crew had to depart the station to free the only docking port for the next crew to arrive. Skylab had more than one docking port but was not designed for resupply. Salyut 6 and 7 had more than one docking port and were designed to be resupplied routinely during crewed operation. Modular stations can allow the mission to be changed over time, and new modules can be added or removed from the existing structure, allowing greater flexibility. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe to WizScience on YouTube or visit wizscience.com.